Hello, and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do roughing passes with a 2D contouring operation. I'm going to use a slitting saw to saw through this, but I want to do it in more than one pass. So the first step is to create the 2D contouring operation. So we're going to go to New, Finishing, 2D Contouring. We then want to go to Job Assignment, and I want to turn Surfaces off, so I can just click this bottom edge down here, because that's the edge, ultimately, that we want the edge of the tool to follow, is this inside edge. So, zoom in, click that, and it curve. Now you'll notice it'll default to the top and the bottom of the part. Well, in this case, we only want it to have the top. We want the top level and bottom level to be the same. We want it to just go along that edge. We don't want it to go any, any more than that. And that's because this is, if, as I bring up the calipers up here, uh, let's turn that off. Let me bring the box to this monitor here. All right. If I go to geometry model on the calipers and click this, you'll see it'll tell me the information here. It's quarter inch in and an eighth, eighth inch thick. So we can close out of that. So we want to just select this surface right here because we're going to go off the bottom edge of the cutter by default. So top level, bottom level. So now it's just going to run along this curve at that plane. So we can double click 2D contouring, bring up the parameters, go to tool, and now I've already got one made and there is a tutorial video out that shows how to make a slot mill. But just as a quick rundown, you just highlight this little box over here, click down, find undercut mill, and then you hit this right here and hit slot mill. And then you just modify the values according to this. So I've got a two inch wide, as with the diameter there, two inch wide cutter, an eighth inch thick. So I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm not gonna mess with feeds and speeds. Um, I guess I'll do the parameter, safe distance of 0.05. And we're only gonna do this in one pass. Depth of cut, so we can hit okay. Okay, oops. What did I do here? Let's see. Let's hit that. Throw something in there, even though it's just going to do it one pass anyway. Let's hit run. And you'll see it gives you a toolpath there. Now, I mean, this is a little problematic just for the simple fact that when it comes down, it's going to crash into our model. So, we need to address that first. What I like to do is I like to go to the top view. So, I hit this drop down and hit top, or it just defaults to top. Click that. Flips it over. And if you hover over this yellow circle right there, click and then drag. You can drag the tool out, and you can see the outline so you know how far out to get it. In this case, I'm going to get it completely out of the model. So, I'm going to go to about there. Looks good. And you want to do the same with this green arrow. Hover over it till it turns orange, click and drag. All right. Now, if you hit run again, nothing's going to happen. You have to hit reset and then run. So you click reset and then run. That will update it. All right. So we can now run this in simulation. Speed her up till she gets in there. Whoops, a little too fast. Let's let's redo that. All right, let's hit play. All right, there it goes. Cuts through there. Good. Now. This is a quarter inch cut. I mean, you depending on what kind of saw you got, you might be able to do that. Um, 
But let's say you want to do a roughing pass. You don't want to just do it one pass. You'll come into 2D contouring. You'll go to strategy. And down here is roughing step parameters. You check that box. Zone width is the total width that you want to have roughing passes in. Well, in this case, we know that it's a quarter inch into the part. So we want to have, let's go a little bit extra, so let's say 0.3. And now the step is how much the steps, you know, over that increment there. So we want to do, let's do this in three passes. So we've got 0.3, you divide that by three, that gives you 0.1. And then you can hit OK. And hit Run. And you'll see it come down, go over, retract up, come over. Now you are going to have some unnecessary, you know, this is going to go at the feed rate you have selected as it works its way down. You can modify that. If you're confident in your programming abilities, you can modify it. And you just double click 2D contouring again. You go to Parameters. And you look at this, we've got our top level, bottom level the same. So we want to go to safe distance, oops, say level, and we want to have that be somewhere close to that. So negative 0.52, let's say, let's give ourselves 50,000 still, but just from that point. So negative point, let's say, 5.7, close enough. All right, we can hit OK. then hit run and now you'll notice with these red dots there that's a rapid movement down so we can go to simulate let's reset the model here and let's watch it go All right, that first one didn't cut anything. Obviously, now you'd go back and modify that. And that concludes another Sprucam tutorial brought to you by Sprucam America.